why can't you just keep doing what you've done, only maybe better? You know, uh, why can't you just keep studying the way you always have, uh, but maybe just improve on procrastination? You know, because you know, most students, you know, if, if I could just improve on my procrastination, if I could just procrastinate less, I'd be fine. You know, that would, that would be great. <laughs> so why... Why is this so relevant for you? Why do I so badly want you to consider your study strategy and whether or not you are you have chosen the right study strategy? Reason number one: we were never taught how to learn, what learning is, how it works, and when it should change. This seems like a ridiculous thing to say because we have all been students for so long. Like, obviously, we know how to learn, Yvonne. Like, we know how to study. I don't need you telling me that. I've been a student for so long. Um, you know, why are you telling me this? Your study approach has been unconsciously developed over the years on the basis of what you needed at the time which was based on the types of assessments that you got over the years. So if your assessments change, if the outcomes change, if the requirements change, you are more likely to keep learning the same way for a lot longer than you should. If it's worked for us, we've continued to do it. And only when it stops working, do we question what on earth is going on. In most cases, when it stops working, we don't actually question the process. We question how hard we're applying the process. So we don't go, am I studying correctly or am I learning correctly? We say, I should be learning harder. I should be putting in more hours. I need more lectures. I need more, you know, I need more this. I need more that. So it takes quite a long time to, to, to go back to the point where we go, wait a minute, Maybe my learning approach is actually not right. If the types of assessments and what they're assessing, I'm not talking about the topics and I'm not even talking about the level of difficulty of the topics. I'm talking about underlying skills, right? If what the examiner is looking for is different, if the learning outcome is different, surely part of our process should be they want something different from me should this impact the way that I prepare for this? If all you've ever done is, if all your exams ever have been calculation based, then you will be focusing on formulae, calculation, you know, that type of thing, fine. If all of a sudden the examiner is looking for discussions, then is it smart to still be studying calculations? and how to do calculations instead of studying how to develop discussions, right? We need to interrogate whether or not we're still learning for exams that happened five years ago. And for a large part of my students, this is a massive problem. No one has said to them, guys, something's changed. This year, something's changed. We go into the next year feeling like it's just going to be the same as last year, only more difficult. Calculations are more complex. There's more theory. There's more detail. But overall, it's the same picture. Except that at some point in time, and possibly if you're sitting watching this, it's no longer the same anymore. Something has changed and nobody told you what it was. And it's incredibly frustrating. And it's incredibly soul-destroying. And it's very discouraging because... You've always studied this way and you're now studying harder and harder and harder and something is not working. What is not working is your study approach. Do you understand the outcomes that are required and can you work that backwards to say, if I'm going to be spending my time, if the outcome is calculation based, I need to be working actively on my ability to calculate formulaic thinking, calculation based thinking versus if the outcome is a debate. If I have to debate something, spending my time working on calculations is not going to help me. I need to develop the skill of arguing points. It may be the same topic. <laughs> it may be the same topic. But now instead of calculating that topic, I need to debate the topic. Huge difference. 
massive difference. And this is a huge tripping point for my students because they have never been taught how to learn. So learning is not something they can define and say, this is how I study. This is how I learn. This is just, this is what I do. I just do the same thing I've always done. I go to class. I go to class or I watch the lectures, I watch videos, I make summaries of the notes, yeah, I highlight stuff, I make summaries of the notes, uh, and then I, you know, I, I watch tutorial questions, and this is my process. This is what I've always done. What skills are you focusing on? What do you mean what skills? I'm focusing on the topic. Like I'm studying this topic and this is what I mean. So the first reason that this is so important is because no one has ever really explained to us that if your outcomes shift, if the requirements and the skill requirements and the skill level requirements change, then we need to ask ourselves, is your learning approach still relevant?